Give Yourself Grace by Timothy Galloway. When we plant a rose seed in the earth, we notice that it is small, but we do not criticize it as rootless or stemless. We treat it as a seed, giving it the water and nourishment required of a seed. When it first shoots up out of the earth, we do not condemn it as immature or underdeveloped, nor do we criticize the buds for not being open when they appear. We stand in wonder at the process taking place and give the plant the care it needs at each stage of its development. The rose is a rose from the time it is a seed to the time it dies. Within it, at all times, it contains its whole potential. It seems to be constantly in the process of change. Yet, at each state, at each moment, it is perfectly all right as it is. Lochani, Mulweni, Dumelang, hello. My name is Latabulaka Kumete, and this poem is my submission for World Speech Day 2021. I am the founder, teacher, and facilitator of an educational initiative called Empowering the Art. Empowering the Art is a multidisciplinary educational initiative that aims to empower cultural workers operating within their communities through socio digital campaigns. With this work, my mission is simple and that is to educate. When I was invited by Simon Gibson, the founder of World Speech Day, to present a speech, I was truly humbled. However, as I read into the details and discovered that there's a three to five minute um, time to you speaking, I was torn. Now, for someone who really enjoys to conversate, and to sit in conversation with other people. Three to five minutes can really feel like a grain of sand in an ocean of time. <laughs> Nevertheless, after much deep and meditative thought, and with a mindful eye on the clock, allow me to elaborate on why I chose the poem, Give Yourself Grace by Timothy Galloway, as an offering towards capturing what humanities at a crossroads looks like for me and how I navigate that space. First, in my work, one of the projects to come out of Empowering the Arts is a curriculum development project titled Welcome to We. The We in Welcome to We stands for curators, gallery assistants, museum educators, healers, and representatives of the cultural roles within any given community of people. Working with these people is how I recharge my humanity. Without giving too much away, there's a famous Nina Simone quote that succinctly captures the work that we do. It goes as follows. The duty of an artist is to reflect and express the times in which we live in. And so exercising my passion with patience in this very historically, emotionally turbulent field and taxing field of the arts, the need and introspect the need for introspection and reckoning with the self in 2021 has never been more crucial. I, as the facilitator of these conversations, learn so much in the process. And because of this, I too recognize that I still have a lot to learn. Moving into our homes, we find that the COVID-19 pandemic has undone and rewired our notions of home. And so for me, new definitions of self-care have inspired a militant and unapologetic form of self-love. To quote Audre Lorde, caring for myself is not self-indulgence. It is self-preservation, and that is an act of political warfare. So to end, let us be clear. Chaos is not new to the world. And this pandemic has certainly brought us closer to ourselves and to our neighbors by way of lockdown restrictions, curfews, or more har harrowingly, being retrenched. Let us remember that we too 
are like roses. So wherever you are, even if you are still in the germinating stages of your life, trying to figure out what's happening, what the next move is, or you are fully in bloom and standing in your glory, always, always remember to give yourself and those around you the highest and most sincere form of grace. Thank you.